All right, guys. Yep, this is me. Uh, you might be wondering why I'm not wearing my iron armor. Well, as luck would have it, uh, I got busy out in the nether making a railway. And that railway was a very nice railway indeed. And essentially, what happened was, I was in the nether making a railway, ended up over here uh, with a very big problem. Um, I had to actually kill myself to get out of the minecart. I spent like 20 minutes trying to get out of this minecart. Wouldn't let me out just would not let me out. So I tried breaking it and all I achieved was breaking blocks underneath the cart and so that didn't work. So finally I ended up uh, taking, got a, got a great idea to actually kill myself and maybe that would end it and I would be rid of that minecart. So that's what I did, and it worked out pretty good, but I forgot to take off my armor, and so I lost my armor. Uh, I threw all my stuff down there, wheeled myself back here, threw my pick over there after I dug a hole, and then scooted off down over here. Uh, you just want to talk about a headache. I did not like that. Oh man. You know what? You guys in the nether? Oh my god, these guys are amazing. Yeah, I wanted to show you guys what I found. All the way down here. Go back up a little bit. Okay. Basically, I showed you this area. Well, I found right next door to all this. Yep, spider spawner. Yay. There were several records in there. Nothing to write home about. But I did find some better things over here. You know, I wish, you know, my system here, I'm putting a torch on the backside, that thing. That, that just works out so well. But you know, it's hard getting back to where you were. Because I don't know how I got there. Except that, you know, I went through somewhere. Now, there isn't much of anything down that way. But over here, I found some things of interest. I don't want to take any chances because I kept hearing stuff. There was several diamonds right there. It's really nice. Now, I haven't gone off in that direction, so it's still dark. I got it blocked off. And that's dark down there, but it's blocked off. And that's blocked off. But when I went down here, I kept running into skeletons. And lo and behold, I ran into a skeleton spawner right there. Imagine that. But inside here I found like two or three records, a couple of tags, and in this chest was diamond. Diamond horse armor. Yeah. I was like, all right. So it looks like I'm going to have to make myself a record player or a jukebox or whatever those things are, music player, because I got a bunch of records. I have no idea what they sound like. Um, anyway, I'm real interested in, you know, exploring the rest of this place, but it looks like I'm going to have arrows for a little while. Um, I need to make that so I can farm it. I think we're actually too low in the world to drop these things. Uh, dropping them is going to be kind of hard. Uh, because I think we're too low. Um, yeah. 
might have been a possibility had I been up around this level, but that's a little too low in the world. So I'm thinking this is probably going to have to be some sort of crusher design. I really wish I could drop them though, because that would be excellent. Um, drop them just like this, the, uh, the other dudes. So anyway, that's what's going on. Probably do a thing on me converting that into a XP farm slash... I'm going to be farming skeletons again. So I'll let you know more about that as it develops. Oh my, that's a lot of spiders. Yep. They're going nuts. I'm about to uh, show you just what it takes to get experience out of this spider spawner. They drop down, and it is creating quite a bit of lag, so I'm going to go and do it. Do it. Do it. Yeah. I've got my chest with uh, swords, and I load it up right here. So without further delay, I'm going to put my shoulder against this block right here, and... That's the optimum range. I just double hand the clicker here and just have at it until my sword breaks. Yeah, it's a lot of experience. You can see that my experience bar is going up faster than <laughs> it can keep up with those little dots. Uh, I'm out of the sword. Huh? thing about this is you have to remember to eat. That is a lot of experience. A lot of experience. I've been upstairs making my egg farm. And I noticed uh, I had quite a bit of lag. Wow. Still hasn't caught up to me. I think I'll get 30 levels out of this. Yeah, because... Yep, and I'm full. Now... Yep, there's 30. Yeah, love it. Love it, love it. I'll be able to go enchant one of my pickaxes again. And, uh, this is my new egg farm. Um, basically, down here it looks like this. And upstairs, it looks quite a bit different. You can hear the spiders already dropping. Um, but essentially, every fifth block is a new egg farm. And these guys are in there. And let me run inside here and show you. Basically, that's where you put the water. That's where you put the sign. This is where the water and the chickens are. And you pretty much just uh, seal up this gap here. Seal all this up and all that up. And then you rinse and repeat. Um, yeah, let's enchant. Let's see. See what happens. We're going to give this a chance. And then give it a little time to charge up. A little time to charge up. And... Just let it zap itself, you know? And what are we going to do? Ah, you know what? This is, this is more of the same. It's a good pickaxe, good workhorse, but I keep getting these. I keep getting these. I mean, there's a mirror image. <laughs> and I, I guarantee the next one I charge up, it's going to be this one. <laughs> Oh, at least it didn't give me an unbreaking three alone, which was worse for 30 levels. Oh, crazy. Craziness. Oh, and throw this back on the pile, man. <laughs> yeah, that's ridiculous. Okay. Well, anyway, uh... That's the spider spawner and the uh, 
the good old chicken farm and how it's progressing. So hopefully uh, things will work out there. Okay, hey there. Well, it's getting a little long, so I'm going to wrap this up. And uh, just so you guys know, I really appreciate you tuning in, all one of you, two of you. <laughs> um, anyway, uh, I would like a little feedback on what I should do with this area behind me. Um, especially this uh, thing in the middle here. I'm going to take it out, but um, maybe you could tell me more about what I could do with this whole upstairs area. The upstairs area behind me, uh, it basically, uh, let's see if I, yeah, there we go. This is so hard. Oh, crap. <laughs> anyway, before I walk off into the nether for no real reason, um, Yeah. Oh. There we go. Okay. All right. Now, yeah. Um behind me here, this this whole area up here, I'd like to change into more of a uh something that will work with my workshop and lead outside. Uh and maybe you guys could tell me what you think I should do with this. I've been, uh, I have designs on getting rid of this. This was going to be like the grand area here, but uh, it really never turned out that way. This right here is outside. Um, the ground level is about this, this block or this block. Anyway, let me know what you think I should do in this area. I, I will be taking that out. Anyway, um, I just want to know what you guys think I should do with it. Uh, we'll see you later, and next time I'll be probably showing you what I did with the skeleton spawner, and we'll go over some furnaces again. We'll see you later. Thanks. Bye.